In July 2004, the first European Forum of Complementary Currency took place in the Social Catholic Institute Badenhof, Germany. 155 participants from 26 countries, mainly from Europe, come to the event. The goal was to uh, create awareness of the different models of complementary currencies in Europe and, and in the world. Complementary currencies have different forms. They differ by their goal, their initiator, their user or their medium. What money is, is anything that gets things moving. Les monnaies complémentaires, elles ont été créées justement pour pouvoir uh, commencer à reconnaître la valeur de toutes ces activités qui contribuent à la, forma à la formation et au fonctionnement de la société et qui ne sont pas valorisées du point de vue monétaire. Most widespread complementary currencies are the mutual credit system. They can take the form of LETS, local exchange trading system, or of time bank. These currencies are inspired by self-help tradition lost in our Western societies. The first time bank opened in 1998 in Stonehouse in Gloucestershire. It was targeting a problem. There was a, it's a very isolated community and there were elderly people and a lot of lone parents in that community and the whole idea was to bring those together. Today, it's grown to 142 time banks. Well, we were thinking that it's important to start a LED system in order to join people together again and to start rebuilding this economy, with household economy, which is missing. Another kind of complementary currencies are backed up in Euro. I am representing the first complementary currency which was created in Germany. And that was in the year 2001. And the name of this new currency is called Roland. This Roland is related to the Euro. So you see here five Roland are equivalent to five Euro, but every month it devalues by 1% so that it's in the interest of all those who have bought Roland with Euro to spend them. And the purpose of money is to be spent and not to be kept. We want to support the farmers who grow biologically their food. And we want to give them uh, credit and support without interest. According to Margaret Kennedy, the major problem of the current monetary system is at the level of the interest rates. What economists um, don't see is that the circulation mechanism that keeps money in circulation, which is interest, causes major problems. And then when you look at who profits from the interest and who gains from the interest, 80% uh, pay more, about twice the amount in interest that they get from their savings and so on, and 10% gain all the time. So we have a constant uh, redistribution towards 10% of the population. We have a very small group of people in the world. Laut, laut Weltbank Bericht sind es 225. 225 ultra reiche Menschen verfügen über ein Vermögen and now these 10% are not interested in small projects. They are interested to invest their money in large power uh, plants, in, in big dams, in, in big projects. The Kimgora currency in Bavaria was designed by a teacher of economy and a group of students. Its goal is to support regional economy. That's our node, the Chiemgauer, that's a 10 node. We have also 1, 2, 5, 20 and 30. And, um, you know, it's really important that a um, complementary currency is circulated around the whole time. That's not, that's the node, it's not stopping somewhere. So for that we have the stamps here. It show you how long you can use one node. So for example, here standing September, that means you can use this node um, to September and the, um, the whole 10. And after that, it will last 2%. Like if you will use it after September, it's last 
We have a lot of different shops. You can buy shoes, you can buy food, yeah, you can go on the cinema, you, almost everything. You don't have like advantage for your own really, but you have advantage for the community. Um, because if you're using Kimgaurs, you're paying um, the 3% to the social clubs. So you're doing something for the community, for, you, for the regional um, economy. Questions were asked to Bernard Littar during his web conference. Author of the book The Future of Money, he locates the complementary currencies in the global context. For him, their emergence is a necessary evolution. We have to understand that we are already in the middle of a major structural shift. The first structural shift in our lifetimes. Uh, it can only be compared with what happened in the Industrial Revolution that ended the agrarian age. Different actors of the complementary currencies reflect together in open space workshops. An open space is a call for for people to come up with their subjects and through open space we give everybody an opportunity to bring their subjects and their interests forward and bring it to the to the forum. I am very glad to find the people who had, uh, had the vision for a new future and we are trying to find a new way uh, to, to, the, to the future and I hope to implement something like that uh, in the Czech Republic. C'est de connaître la diversité, de, de, de diversité et peut-être le dynamisme dans le futur de la, des monnaies complémentaires ici en Europe. On a le sentiment vraiment de, de, de participer à l'émergence euh, d'un mouvement enfin, qui, 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 va, qui, qui va changer les choses à l'avenir. Euh, parce qu'il s'inscrit aussi dans le mouvement des nouvelles technologies de manière pointue. Le monnaie complémentaire sont probablement l'outil le plus explosif de tous ces mélanges de l'économie solidaire, parce qu'elles aident justement à faire le saut du paradigme de la rareté au paradigme de l'abondance. Parce que toutes les expériences d'économie sociale et solidaire, elles se heurtent à la liquidité, et eh bien on peut montrer qu'en plus, de microcrédits, en plus de finances solidaires, on peut augmenter tant qu'on a besoin la liquidité grâce aux monnaies complémentaires du type monnaie sociale. We have to understand that we are at the point where the Wright brothers were when they started with the aeroplane. You know, the first models of aeroplanes all look very um, different. Uh, they look very different from today's aeroplanes. And um, when when you ask um, the, uh, the Wright brothers, can you fly me across the Atlantic, they probably would have said, no, we, we, don't, we can't do that. Aroa is love, and if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Aroa is love, and if you give it away, it comes right back to you. You have to live in the future because you're young and you will grow up in this time. And um, so, if it isn't so as you would wish it were or it is, so you have to change it to change it. And and if uh, other people don't change it, so you have to change it by yourself. It's almost like a magic penny. Hold on tight and you won't get any. Lend it, spend it, give it away, and it comes right back to you.